Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be showing you a converter that I've been wanting to get for quite a while and I finally was able to and it's the Universal Minecraft Converter. Now the Universal Minecraft Converter was created by Oprah's LP and you might actually recognize that name because he was the one that actually created the first ever mod tool for the 360. Now he is back with the Universal Minecraft Converter. It's a new type of converter that's going to be able to convert any kind of Minecraft world. This is a really cool software and if you do want to go get this there will be a link down below. This is the website that you can go to in order to get this converter. But the one thing is that you actually have to pay for it. So after you do actually sign up what you have to do is you have to go ahead and type in your email or you can sign in with Google. Now if I go and click on download you're going to be able to download the program for free. And once you go ahead and download the program you just have to go ahead and click on dashboard and you need to go ahead and select the amount of time that you want in order to get access to the entire program. You're only going to be having the program on your computer but you're not going to be able to use it until you buy this access time. So you can go for 12 months, for one month or four months. You're actually paying for the entire thing all at once. So you're not going to be having like those subscriptions or anything like that. So you can use a credit card if you want to or you can go ahead and use PayPal. So with everything said, let's go ahead and take a look at the converter itself. So as you can see, this is what our converter looks like. So we have access to all the different platforms. We have 360, Java, Windows 10, Pocket Edition, Wii U, and PlayStation 3. So if I were to select one of these, such as Windows 10, you get access to this nice little UI. So let's say you have yourself a whole bunch of Windows 10 worlds. They're all going to be listed on here. If I were to select Xbox 360, then all the worlds that you have on your USB device. But the first one that we're going to go ahead and convert is going to be Andromeda. So if anybody remembers this map, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. But I'm just going to go ahead and select that and we can double click and it can now go and convert it to a different platform. But this is where the cool thing comes into play. You can convert them to multiple platforms at the same time. So you no longer need to actually do them individually, which this makes things so much easier when you are creating up different maps and you want to go ahead and release them on multiple platforms. I love this feature a lot. But instead, I'm just going to go ahead and deselect the Pocket Edition, PlayStation 3, and Wii U. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep PC Java and Windows 10 selected. So now whenever you're ready to convert, you can then select Start. And look how quick that this goes. Because this is a very quick converter. Okay, this will make things so much quicker whenever you just want to go ahead and move things exactly from one platform to another. I mean, look at that. It's already almost done in a matter of less than 10 seconds. But after this is done converting, then the Windows 10 will now start to go and convert. It's not going to do them all at once. Okay, it's only going to do them individually. So you will actually have to wait for them. But just selecting multiple platforms at the same time, it's just so, so great. It's so awesome. But now it is all done. But you have to go ahead and save it. So you have to click on save. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it the same name. And so we know exactly what world that is. Then we're going to click on save for Windows 10. And we just have to click on save right there. Now I've restarted the game and I'm going to go ahead and click on play. And now as you can see our world is now there. And they'll even go and tell you on when that world was created. And also it has the same thumbnail which I love a lot. But I can just go ahead and select that. And I have not had any problems with this converter yet. But all the work that Oprah did for this. It's just absolutely crazy because he spent a lot of time just creating up this converter. But I'm just going to go ahead and come through here because everything looks like it actually converted properly. Does anybody remember this map? I definitely remember I played on this map a very long time ago. This is still a pretty cool map nonetheless. And also any map I do convert you will find links to down below in the description. We also have ourselves a few places where ice is melting. But you know what? This is because there's like glowstone absolutely everywhere. But I think, if I remember right, this was actually using a texture pack. It might have been the Mass Effect texture pack when this was created. And that's why some things should look a little bit strange. Now here we are on Minecraft Java 1.15.1. And I'm going to click on single player. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on Andromeda. And now it's going to go ahead and give you this little warning. Saying this world was last played in 1.13.2. Because that's what the converter is going to go ahead and convert it to. And we are now joining the world and here we are. Now this actually made it go up to the sky a little bit. And so if I just go ahead and go down this way, we should actually be able to find ourselves the nice little Andromeda map. Everything converted all properly, which is pretty awesome. It looks like we have ourselves still melted ice. If you remember way back in the day when we used to download 360 maps, you might remember that there was a file called .bin. We needed the file that was deep inside of there, which is where Horizon came to play. 
you needed a save game dot that. But guess what? You no longer need to worry about that because this will go ahead and open these up without any problems. So if I were to go ahead and click on 360 right here and I select to browse, as you can see, results up in. I select that, click on open, and now we can convert it. So now let's go ahead and convert a Java edition map over to the Bedrock edition. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Java, and then I'm going to select Anthem's peaceful map. But I'm going to go ahead and click on open, and I'm going to select Windows 10, and then start. And now it's going to start converting. So the world is now done converting, and this took maybe about like two minutes to convert, and that's because it has so many chunks. This had 60,000 chunks. For the size of it, it definitely took a little bit of time to actually convert. And that's just one thing I want to bring up. That depending on the size of your world and depending on the amount of chunks that you have, it may actually take a little bit of time to go and convert. Also, whenever you do end up converting Java Edition maps to Bedrock, you actually get yourself a new type of thumbnail. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on Create. So we're now inside the world and it spawned me right here within this area by his house. A sign says Mob Farm right around this corner. Uh, oh, there it is. There's the mob farm. But whenever you come around here, you also find this big tall tower. He has this lighthouse. He also has all these stone towers around the areas. I believe that those were just there so he wouldn't lose his house and stuff like that. But this is still a pretty cool map nonetheless. But let's say you want to convert a Windows 10 world over to 360 or a Java world to 360. Well, if I go ahead and select Windows 10 right here, and then I go ahead and select a world. Let's go for new aisle 1.2. I'm going to go ahead and click on open. And then I'm going to go ahead and select 360 and I'm going to click on start. And the world is now converting and look how quick that is. And it is now done so I can click on save. And now I need to go ahead and click on import metadata. And so that way it registered for your profile. But I'm going to go ahead and select let's say a Dreamcraft. Okay. It doesn't matter which world that you select. As long as the world is on your profile then you'll be able to go ahead and use it just fine. But as you can see we have ourselves saved the USB now selected. So I click on save. And now it's going to save it directly to there. You can load up your 360 and you know what? You can just go and play on that map. And finally, we're going to convert a Windows 10 world over to PC Java. So I'm going to select Windows 10. I'm just going to go ahead and choose a random world. Let's go for New Isle 1.2, just like we did for 360. And now I can select Java. Click on Start. And whenever it is done preparing the chunks, it will then start converting. So just like before, when we converted the PC world to Windows 10, it was taking a little bit of time to actually convert and it's doing it with the Windows 10 to PC. So I don't know what it is about these two versions, but it does seem like they do take a little bit longer to actually convert than it does for 360 and things like that. The world is now done and I'm just going to go ahead and click on save and we're going to save it right about here. Let's load up Minecraft Java Edition and there's our map right there. This is our Bedrock map converted to the Java Edition. And here's the world. So this is what New Isle looks like. And this is actually a pretty cool looking city. But as we go around here, we'll find ourselves like skyscrapers. It looks like the buildings are furnished as well. Now just real quick, I want to show you the settings. Because if you click on there, you can go ahead and get access to all the different settings for the individual conversion types. So if you want to go ahead and change them, then you can go and do that. Now right here is going to be a useful thing. This is prune chunks. Let's say you have an area that you're not sure if it's going to crash or not. Well, you can go ahead and remove that just by selecting this. And then you can go ahead and choose the coordinates, which if you want to go a certain direction north, then you can do that. Certain direction south, certain direction east or west, you can go ahead and do that. You can also go ahead and change the settings for the end conversions or nether conversions. It's pretty much up to you on what you want to do in the section. But anyway, that is actually pretty much it for what I wanted to show you with this converter. And I do think that Oprah did a really great job at creating this software. I remember that he spent a very long time working on this. And if you do want to go ahead and get this, there will be a link down below in the description. Well, let me know what you think of this. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, hope you have a logical day, and I catch you next time. Bye.